Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Audio Lab and welcome to Accessible Computing Accessible Technology with Accessibility. Hi, this is Otek, this is Tainter So in this video, we are going to discuss about how you can cut unwanted portion from your audio file by using Audio Lab. So we are going to discuss stream and delete both in this single video. If you like this type of videos, do not press the like button and share this video with your friends and uh, community. Do not forget to subscribe this channel if you are if you are uh, in uh, first time in this channel and don't forget to join our telegram channel because we will share a lot of updates regarding blind community and tech community on our official telegram channel so without any delay let's start so before going to uh, discuss about how to cut or how to do some action regarding your audio file how to uh, cut unwanted portion i want to introduce two terms Number one, start marker or start position or whatever. The technical term is start marker and the number uh, two is finish marker or end marker or end position. So before going to do any stuff, any task, you have to select the portion of audio. To select, you have to use those markers. Start markers means the start position. For example, you have an audio file which is uh, about five seconds and you want to cut from 2 seconds to 4 seconds so 2 seconds is your start marker and 4 seconds is your end marker or finish marker whatever so in the audio lab you can access those markers with your talkback and it's very very accessible and you can do whatever you want so if you know this concept then it's easy for you to access to edit audios any basic editor either it's computer or laptop or desktop or mobile phone whatever so uh, this is the concept i hope uh, i'm clear to you if you have any doubts any queries you can ask me in the comment section i will try to reply you as early as possible so let me open the audio lab application so after opening audio lab i just need to click on trim audio audio lab after Navigate clicking on trim audio you just need to choose whatever file you want audio lab so from Proofing i i gallery. want to choose uh, this uh, i want to choose files from audio lab output so i'm swiping from left to right there are three tabs. Folder view. Recorded. Search. Selected. All tracks. All Tab. tracks. All tracks mean the all the tracks available items. on your phone. So in your phone you can access. Audio lab output. Audio Tab. lab output. Audio lab output means uh, the folder where your audio lab recordings and other editing files saved. So uh, you just need to select. I'm just Hold. going to this tab. Audio lab output. Selected. Hold. Folders, artist. So this is a uh, different different Out. folders. I'm going to discuss in this video. Web view. Out of list. So f three c sixty one f eleven to three d d zero eight eight five f six. So now I am swiping from left to right. Audio refresh record full search all so full artist album web view the dot switch up. Yes, so this is the audio lab recording. So I'm just taking this file after. So if you want, you can also play this file once before uh, playing this or before attacking this into your audio editing software or audio uh, lab. So I'm just double tapping on it. Process audio lab. So it's processed. Now at the very top left. At the, sorry, at the very bottom left, you will find the play button. So let me play this. Hello guys, you are watching Accessible Computing YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe button. And hello friends, welcome to Accessible Computing YouTube channel. Accessible Computing. So uh, this is the audio which I want to edit. So what I want to edit, I want to edit the first portion. Trim, trim. Play. this portion because there is some uh, double tapping sound is there so i want to cut this portion so for this i need to select this portion first by using start marker and finish marker so how to find that let me tell you this start marker 0 .0. Graphic. so you can already listen start that marker 0 .0. start marker 0.00 End marker 15.00. End marker 15.00. It's by default 15 seconds is selected from the very first or very beginning of your audio. So I'm swiping from left to right. Audio slash 
four. Move left slide to start. But so move left, uh, left swipe or left, left slide to start means this is the button to move your start marker right. Move right slide to Sorry. Head. Move left slide left. to start. Then move right slide to head. Button. Right. Okay. So this is how you can navigate. Once uh, if you press this once one time, then your start marker will be move left right based on your uh, selection right, right move left slide to start left. move right, right slide zero, 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 zero. this is the start marker position slash okay zero, so zero, you can zero, also zero. enter i think let's see no you slash. can't enter zero, zero, 0037 zero, zero, this is a total sorry this is the total duration of audio move left slide to playing button move left slide to playing move right slide to playing move right, button. right slide to playing means this will uh play your audio and you can move while you are playing decrease left slide but decrease left slide zero 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 increase left slide button. increase left slide one second one sec okay so uh, one second means this is the interval i mean once you press the button increase left slide this button, button or decrease left slide this button, button then uh, your start cursor will move by one second so you may get some noises because i am not uh, indoor i'm in uh, outdoor so that's why one second one second decrease right slide button decrease right slide Z increase right slide increase button. right slide play play so this is the way you can increase or decrease right slide so uh for example I just need to know where am I. Decrease left. Move right slide to play. Move right slide. Move left slide. Zero 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 zero. Zero 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 zero. Zero 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 thirty. Zero 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 thirty-seven. Zero zero thirty-seven. Okay, this is a total audio duration. Start install. Start marker zero point zero zero. Image. Start marker zero point zero zero. End mark. That's it. Audio slash xwav dash wav. Move move right slide to zero zero. Slash zero zero thirty seven. So, for example, right I just want to cut the first zero 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 zero. Decrease left slide. Button. Decrease zero. Increase left. Increase. I'm second. not increasing left slide because I want to left slide means start marker and right slide means um end marker or finish marker. Decrease right slide. But so zero, I'm increasing this zero 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 sixteen point oh oh oh. So this is the uh I am decreasing by De one second. One second. Zero 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 zero. Okay, so right. I need to cut. I need to decreasing. Zero 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 five point oh. Dec zero 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 two point oh oh. Dec so I am zero 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 one point oh. Increase right slide button. So zero 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 one point oh oh. So here, if I need, I can enter whatever I want. So I am just going to show you. I am just double tapping on it. End position. End zero. position. Allowed range. Zero zero. End position. Allowed range. range. Zero 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 point one oh oh two zero 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 thirty seven point seven eight nine. Help. So this is the allowed range. It is saying that this is the allowed allowed range means you can't select. Uh, you can only select between this range. Zero zero at zero edit box hour disabled. Hour zero edit box mid disabled. Minute. One edit box. Sec. Second. Zero edit box. Millisecond. Millisecond. So why it's disabled? Why minute and hour disabled? Because my audio is only thirty seconds, seven seconds, right? So just H click on. H M M S M cancel. Okay. Okay button. button. So after clicking on the okay button, it's selected. Right. Increase the right, right slide. Play. So now I'm just uh, tapping play. So once you select it and after you play, after selection, then only the selection portion will be played, right? So now you can do whatever you want. Either you can trim, either you can delete, either you can cut, copy, whatever you want. But remember friends, what is the uh, difference between deletion and trim? I will tell you. Deletion means the portion which you have selected will be cut from the audio. And the trim means the portion which you have selected will be uh, there and the rest portion the rest of the portion will be deleted from the audio for example your audio is 5 seconds and 
you have selected two seconds to three seconds or two seconds to four seconds then if you press the trim then the two from two seconds to four seconds are there but rest of the audio will be uh, deleted and if you click on delete button then the rest of the audio will be there but from two seconds to four seconds will be muted uh, sorry will be deleted so this is the difference between trim and delete i hope it's clear if not please let me know into the comment section i'll try to reply as early as possible so i'm trim, trim, trim delete 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 silence 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 too. if you want to add silence you can add silence fade 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 okay so if you want to add any fade in fade out whatever you want we will discuss another video after uh, okay. copy 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 add silence add, add silence. silence create loop loop create loop so this will play again and again and again and again so that's Co all the options fade fade silence so for now delete delete i'm going to delete button now the file Process. is deleted open navigation door zoom in zoom, zoom in. out zoom out undo undo so you can also undo your last action redo redo you can also redo your last action more options more Web options b8 7 reddit now let play. me play this hello guys you are watching accessible computing youtube channel don't forget to subscribe button and hello so now now the uh rest of the part which i want to cut the file the part of that file is now uh, there is no file i mean no audio for the selection portion so this is the process how to delete your audio file how to cut your audio file now it can save. save this Trip. Save. I'm clicking on save Demo button and it will save another audio. Music. Demo of the lab recording 2206 Edit box. It will not uh, uh, override. Okay. E. Window. S. D. D. I. R. T. T. E. E. D. D. For example, it's the, I'm just e. giving this. Editing. 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 Window music drop editing edit the demo audio edit music it. web view privacy okay web so I'm just snap on. connect no. editing music drop down menu use web view keyboard hidden we edit the demo audio lab recording 220 web view edit the demo audio music drop down menu use as web view Sem so let it. me I'm One, just saving this file create Create button. So I'm clicking on. Edit a demo on the library recording 2206 So this is the way System you can uh, cut or stream or delete any portion from your audio file. In the next video, we will try to discuss about silence or merge or any other. Whatever topic you want, please let me know in the comment section. We will try to discuss in the next video of Audio Lab. So, waiting for your comments and thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Please like button and share this video as much as possible. So, see you soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.